HKZ is a fixed wind project in the Netherlands. It's uh, constructed in front of the Dutch coast, 80 kilometers out of uh, The Hague and uh, Aimuiden. It will uh, consist out of 140 turbines of 11 megawatt. Total project will be 1.5 gigawatt. It will produce uh, renewable energies for the equivalent of 1.5 million uh, Dutch households. Uh, HKZ is the first uh, subsidy-free wind project in Europe. The CV7 scope of work for this project is the installation of the 140 monopiles and the 140 interarray cables. So uh, in a fixed wind project like this, we start with the installation of the monopiles. It's then followed by the installation of interarray cables. And then after the turbines are installed, we go back and we connect the cables to the turbines. I'm the project manager for 100 Kus site, the foundation package. And within this package, there were 140 monopiles to be installed. These monopiles were tp less meaning quite long and heavy, up to 925 tons and 8 meters in diameter. Next to that, a scour pad had to be installed, including a nature-inclusive design at some locations. The installation campaign started in 2021, whereby we have installed 34 foundations. We evaluated over the winter to see where we could improve. The biggest improvement we could make was the ability to install on DP, as the new gripper was installed by the organization. This new gripper allowed us to install without mooring the vessel. This was a time saving of up to 12 hours. The foundations on the HKZ project held some specific challenges. The boat landing was very long and the airtight platform had to be installed with tight tolerances. These specific challenges required specific solutions. For this, we developed a tailor-made tool called the ABIT, the airtight and boat landing installation tool. This tool allowed us to install the secondary steel in the first place, but as well to install it safe and efficiently. Next to that, the secondary steel was transferred to a second installation vessel. All in all, we could install three monopiles within 24 hours. The problem-solving approach for this project is on reducing that critical time. So you look at where you can combine activities and reducing the cycle time. So if you focus on uh, bringing the total time for one foundation installation to reduce it as much as possible. And the tools that we create are focused on that. It can be hardware, it can be software, or automation of measurements. So as an example of that, uh, being a survey and positioning specialist on the project, we first use the installation monitoring system, which consists of two laser scanners calibrated to inertial navigation systems below them. And they looked at the foundation from two different angles to determine very accurately its verticality. It had to be within a quarter of a degree. And this allowed us, uh, by having those two laser scanners, to achieve that on all the piles. So the advantage of that is that we don't have to do it like in the past, where we had to stop every 15 minutes to measure inclination from two different angles on the pile. Uh, but instead, we could do that at distance. It didn't cost critical time. We had a double big bubble curtain in place to uh, reduce the underwater sound during impact driving. The air bubbles created surrounding the pile were sufficiently damping such to remain below the required noise limit. For this project there really was a focus on the deployment and retrieval methodology uh, of the bubble curtain and to improve it. This to make sure that the main installation vessel is not waiting on the noise mitigation vessel, but also to properly lay the hoses on the seabed and achieve the required performance. For this project, the advantage of using a double bubble curtain was that it proved to be a suitable solution from start. No additional equipment had to be mobilized, uh, but also we have collected very valuable data. Uh, currently, we are analyzing the full data set uh, this is very useful for future projects. On the Hollandse Kursuit project, I'm responsible for the installation of the cables. The cables comprise of a length of 310 kilometers, consisting of 139 cables, which were to be installed at a water depth of 16 to 28 uh, meters. The first batch of cables were comprised of about 70 cables, varying from like just below a kilometer to five kilometers roughly. So we started off at Holoskust 1 and 2. The field is divided in four parts, but 1 and 2 were tackled first by the substation OSS Alpha. The second part of the field, HKZ 3 and 4, they were with a different cable type and started with the substation OSS Beta. Those cables on that side were uh, 69 cables, so in total the 139. 
project like this has its challenges. Some of the challenges were the seabed conditions, the number of crossings we had to uh, deal with, the connection points to the substations and the turbines, and the connections into the turbines, so the electrical connections. Despite the challenges we faced, uh, we were able to overcome these with the teams we have and the support of the clients, which resulted in us being able to install the cables swiftly and efficiently, and by doing that, come to a successful completion of the project. What I want to mention is the dedication of the teams, onshore and offshore, for this project. Without this dedication, we wouldn't have been able to uh, complete the project as we did. As my colleagues told you, we went through many uh, challenges which, uh, which were uh, solved by, uh, by the team by coming up with innovative solutions. Um, the result was that uh, all monopiles and all cables were installed in time, that we have a satisfied client and that we have a good basis for uh, building on this for future projects. Thank you.